Hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at OrthoTechsHomePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marces with your Thursday morning forecast update. What is going to be a uh, stormy day for us? We've already had a few strong thunderstorms move across the region this morning. Did trigger a few severe thunderstorm warnings, including one for Caddo Parish uh, for the possibility of some half dollar sized hail. Didn't see any reports with that. We did have a thunderstorm move through uh, the Carthage area as well. Did have some reports of some quarter sized hail there, and that will be the threat here as we go through the morning. Uh, that said, we're in pretty good shape here. For the next few hours. It looks like our second round of storms will pop up sometime middle of the day. Could be late morning, uh, early afternoon, but right now we don't have any watches or uh, warnings in place here for the Arklatex. You can see the stronger thunderstorms now in north central Louisiana, south central Arkansas, and we're watching some activity there north of I-30. is producing some thunder and lightning across Arkansas and uh, also towards McCurtain County, but that is not expected to be severe here, so I do think we're in pretty good shape here uh, for most of the morning. We will see some pop-up showers and thunderstorms here and there uh, but again, round two going to be making its way in as we uh, go through the probably early afternoon hours today. May see that severe weather threat continue into the evening. So what we're looking at here, you see uh, the upper level low there now making its way into northern Oklahoma. As that approaches the Arklatex here, it's going to create a lot of uplift in the atmosphere, and that's what's going to give us that trigger for those second round of thunderstorms here. And the uh, forecast models have been very persistent in showing that popping up uh, right around the noon hour today. So you see some of the scattered activity that we'll see through the morning here. Here again, uh, low end severe weather threat through the morning, but uh, there is the possibility we could see some uh, hail with some of those storms. There will also be frequent lightning. And there you go. Once we get to about noon, one o'clock, there is that uh, second line of storms popping up fairly close to the Louisiana Texas state line here. And then those storms will push off to the east. So what we're looking at with this pet potential this afternoon is uh, maybe we could see some high wind gusts, also some large hail. But there is a window there where we could see a few tornadoes as well. So that's something we are going to be monitoring all day for you here and uh, Futurecast kind of speeding up the exit of this system as it uh, kind of clears this out as we go through the evening here. May see some additional redevelopment at some point tonight, but again, I think that severe weather threat coming to an end uh, for most of us as we go through the evening. Clouds will stick around Friday, but uh, no severe weather threat for your Friday. However, you're getting our first look at the uh, severe weather outlook map for Saturday. Not good as the entire Arklatex here and that slight risk uh, for all locations here as we'll have a, probably a couple rounds of storms move through on Saturday. So we'll take you through the weekend here. Again, Saturday morning, you'll see a warm front lift across the region, so it'll be uh, one of those things where we could see some storms pop up late in the morning, early afternoon, and there's that main severe weather threat making its way through during the warmest part of the day here. We'll likely have temperatures in the 70s once again, so uh, again, we could see some uh, pretty strong storms here late in the day Saturday. I would be surprised if that severe weather threat rolls into Sunday as well as we are looking at some additional activity uh, popping up as we go through the weekend. Still monitoring the potential for some heavy rain here as well. You see your totals this uh, first system, the one that will cruise through today. Uh, generally an inch in most locations could see some isolated higher amounts, but no threat of any kind of flash flooding as what we're looking at here today. But as we go through the weekend, you see uh, there are some three to five inch amounts here between I-20 and I-30. So it is going to be a soaker of a weekend for us. Uh, fortunately, it looks like we'll begin to dry out as we move through next week, but your temperatures uh, are going to be on the warm side today, 50s and low 60s for us. Uh, we do have the south wind about 10 miles per hour this morning. It will be breezy of course, uh, those south winds about 15 miles per hour. And of course, uh, a lot more windy near any of those thunderstorms that do pop up today in your highs this afternoon. Uh, most of us out ahead of those storms should make it into the low and mid 70s today. So it is going to be a breezy, warm day. Uh, don't expect that we'll see much sunshine. May see a little bit before that second round of storms pops up as we go through the afternoon. Get a bit of a break tomorrow, but there's that severe weather threat Saturday. May see that carry into some locations on Sunday. And we'll begin to taper that rainfall off Monday. There will be some lingering showers, it looks like through the first half of the day here and uh, much warmer next week. Sunshine pots back out Tuesday, Wednesday and should see the warmest temperatures of the season so far as we'll be into the mid 80s.